In the past year, we've been working on a system called Exemplar, which is designed to help students understand the problem before they start writing a program. To use Exemplar, however, students first need to understand the data they're working with, for which Exemplar doesn't really offer any help. To that end, we've been working on a new system called the Data Definition Druid. This video gives a brief introduction to one of its modes. Consider a function that consumes strings and counts how many times the letter E appears in them. The Druid is going to help us explore several of the scenarios we should be thinking about to test this function well. Let's consider the simplest input, the empty string. When we enter this and run it, Druid is going to check this against several conditions it's expecting to find. And in this case, we find that it matches against one of those conditions. When we try a string containing just the letter E, we find that we've matched another of those conditions. Now let's try the string E followed by a space. When we enter this and run it, we find that the set of checks hasn't actually changed, which means the other scenarios the Druid is thinking of were not covered by this new example. Based on this, you can probably think of several other things to try. For example, a string with two E's at the beginning of it, a string with two E's at the end of it, or a string with more than two E's interspersed through it. This catches all the conditions that the person who wrote this instance of the Druid wanted you to find. Of course, a real problem might have many more situations it wants you to discover, and some of those you may only discover when you write the program. This concludes our very brief tour of the Data Definition Druid. We hope you find it useful.